What's up, gamers? Welcome back to Pro Warriors. I've got some exciting news. Sudachi Emulator is back and better than ever. A couple of months ago, the Sudachi devs announced they were discontinuing the project. But guess what? They've changed their minds and brought it back with fresh updates. Sudachi was a favorite emulator for specific users, and I've heard some people say it's still better than Citroen and Yushu. But here's the real question. Can it compete with Citroen or Nyushu? It's going to be a tough fight. Okay, stick around as I break down everything you need to know about this incredible comeback, the challenges it faced, and what it all means for you. Let's jump right in. For all the new users out there, let's start from the very beginning. I'll guide you through the installation process, setup, what's new on Sudachi, and even some game testing. You can download Sudachi directly from its official website or GitHub page. It's currently available for both Windows and Android, so make sure to grab the APK file and install it on your device. If you've already installed a previous version of Yuzu, you must uninstall it first. Otherwise, you may encounter installation errors due to file conflicts or compatibility issues. After installation, launching Sudachi Emulator. Next, you'll be greeted by a welcome screen where you need to click Get Started and grant the necessary permissions. If you've used emulators like Yuzu or Sudachi before, you'll find the features and user interface quite familiar since Citroen is a fork of Yuzu. Next, the emulator will prompt you to enter your production ID or product keys, which are essential for running any games. Unfortunately, due to YouTube's community guidelines, I can't provide direct links to these keys, but you can find them elsewhere. Once you've added the keys, locate your games folder through the emulator. Sudachi will automatically detect and display the games in your library. Before playing any game, check its compatibility on the Citroen official website. Here you will find all the playable games, linked in the description. Make sure your game files are unzipped and placed in the games folder. After this, Grant access to the folder by tapping Use this folder and perform a deep scan to finalize the setup. Within a few seconds, your games will be displayed. Once your games are ready, it's time to configure the settings for optimal performance on low-end devices. Click on the gear icon in the bottom right corner and select Advanced Settings. In the System tab, turn off the Limit Speed option to fully utilize your device's resources. Keep Docked Mode disabled as it can strain low-end devices. If your device is highly configured, you can use it to increase the resolution. In the Graphics tab, always keep the accuracy level set to normal. Use your device's native resolution or lower it to 0.5x for smoother gameplay. Set the aspect ratio to stretch to window for better compatibility. In the debug tab, set CPU accuracy to normal while leaving other options at their default settings unless you are confident that your device can handle changes. To further enhance performance, you can install custom GPU drivers if your device supports it. This feature is only available for Snapdragon processors. Now I'm going to install the firmware file to enable Q Launcher and see if it works. First, open Manage Sudachi Data. Then select Install Firmware. Browse to the folder where you stored the firmware files and install them. Next, open the applet launcher to check if it's working. Unfortunately, it seems it's not working right now. Never mind. I hope the next update will fix it. The gameplay was smooth for the most part. The return of Sudachi sparks a new hope for Nintendo Switch emulation, as the oldest fork of Yuzu makes its comeback with promises of smoother gameplay and broader compatibility. With future updates on the horizon, Sudachi symbolizes the hope of a brighter, more stable emulation era. 